Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alan Kushmarkoff again, and uh, are you guys having a hard time, I'm just curious, in um, distinguishing between the conditions and the objections that, that we get from, um, from our clients, seller leads or buyer leads, right? Um, you know, we are in a real estate business, uh, sales business, right? Um, and uh, I think we come across um, at least one or two objections uh, or conditions on a daily basis. Um, and there's sometimes there's that, that, that gray line between the two, right? And you're trying to kind of figure out, is it a really a condition or an objection that I can, can handle or respond pretty quickly, right? So uh, a quick definition uh, of a condition. Um, a condition is uh, uh, something of a fact that is um, out of the client's control, you know? And it could be uh, they're upside down on their house, could it be the, the current market conditions, could be their, their health situation, you know, credit, um, you know, something that no matter what they're going to do at this point is just not going to help and you're not going to be able to fix it, right? May down the line, um, long-term lead, but at this point, they're just not ready to uh, to act. Uh, whereas with the objections, I think a lot of times with the objections, um, the way I see ad- objections are, um, you know, in two different categories. Um, there are objections that are brush-offs, right? Uh, like, for instance, if you... Um, reaching out to a buyer lead, um, they will tell you something along the lines, hey, I'm just looking, I'm just browsing, right? Or I have an agent, right? So typically that's 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 a brush off. Uh, or let's say you're working with a seller, uh, you meet with a seller and the seller tells you, you know what, I, I have to sleep on it, I, I have to think this through, uh, we'll have to discuss it, and we'll get back to you next couple of days, right? So how do you respond to these objections, right? In trying to get to the real core of what is really holding them back. So with a brush of objections, right, you want to start with empathy. You want to really kind of kind of understand that, you know what, their situation is not that unique. It's pretty common. So let's say, for example, they tell you, you know what, I'm just looking, I'm just browsing. You know, hey, I completely understand that you're just looking right now. In fact, we have a lot of uh, buyers that, that we work with uh, started browsing or looking first and then ended up buying with us. But I'm just curious, and please help me understand uh, what has to happen from now to whatever time frame they give you, what's holding you back or really holding you back from making a decision right now and moving forward, right? So that would be my response to someone that tells you something like, you know what, I'm just browsing, I'm just looking, I'm not ready to do something, right? We want to get to the core of it. Whereas with the seller, if the seller tells you, hey, you know what, um, I am just uh, have to think about it, I have to sleep on it, whatever excuse they give you, a lot of times it's the front. I think a lot of times they have maybe another question or two behind it. I think a lot of times they need to get clarification, right? And we really want to flush them out. We really want to get that information from them so, you know, you can you can help your case, right? So in, in seller situation, if they tell you something like that, right, what, what you want to do is say, you know, hey, I completely understand. It's a huge decision for you guys. It's a big decision, you know, but uh, do you feel like I'm the right agent uh, to sell your home? And um, a lot of times they will tell you yes, and there's a like, great, I appreciate that. So I'm just curious, you know, what's holding you back or stopping you from, from making a decision right now to move forward uh, with our team or with our services? And uh, that's when they're going to give you the, the response. And, and, and it can be something along the lines of commissions. They're interviewing other agents. They're not sure if you uh, have a lot of presence in this area. Whatever the reason is, now you really truly know the reason why they're not making a decision right now okay and uh, based on that you can you can respond and hopefully convince them otherwise so i hope this was uh, valuable to you guys Uh, thank you so much for watching Um, and uh, feel free to reach out uh, comment uh, if you have any questions take care talk to you next time bye